Hi, Leanne Donahue Tamsin here. Today I'm talking about the that feeling you have when you realize the career or the business that you've been working really hard at for years, pushing forward through, trying to get to some goal or ideal, is no longer fulfilling you. It's an incredibly frustrating place to be. Uh, and it, it's kind of soul destroying, you know, everything you've been putting your life towards until that point, and you realize I no longer want it. The, the first thing you need to do in that is listen to yourself. You can't brush those feelings aside and decide it's all too hard, I'm just going to do it anyway. You can try that for a while you'll eventually burn out or you'll self-sabotage yourself. Um, you know, it's really hard to ignore those kinds of feelings. Let yourself feel that for a while. Let yourself feel that, that overwhelming frustration and uh, annoyance and the challenge of the change that might be necessary. And then move into problem solving. So let yourself have that initial feeling and then know now I'm moving on. I'm not going to stay in that feeling. So the problem solving process is that you should analyse what you've got. So you really sit back and reflect on what do I like and what don't I like about my work or my business or my career. And be brutally honest about that. You may be surprised that there are things that you thought you really loved that you hate or things vice versa that you thought you really hated but you actually quite like doing those things now. We all change over time. So it may be that simply that, that type of work is, is no longer something that makes you feel, feel good. It's not that it changed. It's just that you kind of grew through it. I also think that what's really important in that analysis part is you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Right? When you have that feeling of, oh my goodness, this is terrible, it's really easy to say everything's terrible. And that's not always the case. It's likely that there are parts of it that you still like. So really look hard at which bits do I like and which bits don't I like. Then start exploring options. So gather lots of information about what the opportunities are and which is really a bit of a brainstorming process. It might be you start looking at other positions similar to what you've got but a little bit different. Um, start considering adding different aspects to your business that might meet some of those new uh, things that you're looking for. Sometimes just having a choice changes how you feel about it. So doing this analysis process and the information gathering process, that might actually be all you need to do. You might do that and then say, you know what, I'm actually quite happy where I am. I didn't realise how okay I am with where I am. Um, so, you know, if that happens, fantastic. But if it doesn't, you're just gathering information, exploring your opportunities and the choices that you have available and at least feeling more empowered by that. So I know that when I, I worked in information technology before I became a psychologist and it was what I wanted from school, I wanted to work in IT from school. Um, was it called IT then? It was called computers. <laughs> it's a long time ago. And uh, anyway, but that, you know, it was all I really wanted to do. Uh, did it for, you know, I don't know, about eight or nine years and progressed up the ranks and was doing quite well. Uh, and there were lots of really good challenges. But what I found is that I just liked talking to people a whole lot more than I liked doing my work. So I started doing things like becoming a trainer and, and um, working as a trainer in IT. I started adding people-oriented components of my work and doing project management and working with people more still wasn't enough to make me feel fulfilled. Uh, and so for me, the decision was a complete career change and start again. And I went to university to, and I, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, and so that meant that when I started at university, I started in quite a, a generic course. And it was within the first six months I started thinking, I know what I want to do now. 
And I think all of that is really important. That's part of that information gathering and working out where you want to be and how committed you are to the new uh, avenue that you want to take. So my suggestion would be that you don't waste any time thinking about, oh, it's too late to do that or how long would it take me to get through that. There's no, there's no benefit in that thinking. I would instead be saying, from today, I'm going to start making this more the way I want it to be and just focus on from here on not what's gone before, how much work you've done to get where you are, not about how much you're going to lose, but how do I feel fulfilled in what I'm doing? And if it's about, you know, um, working across two different areas, I love it when there's a synergy between things. And so for me, IT and being a trainer was a way of bringing those things together. Uh, and I still do things like that. So I'll still do training in psychology topics and I'll do online things because I've worked in IT. So I think those things are great. When you can bring a whole lot of different, your different skills together to a role, I think that's a great way of utilising your assets. Uh, also, I think make good enough decisions at this point. So it may be like with me starting with a more generic course that, you know, you've got to go, well, it's not perfect, but I don't know what perfect is yet. So this is going to be good enough. And I, that's fine. That's how you start this process going. Uh, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> you will eventually work that out. And I also think part of that is about focusing just on the next step, not about forever, not about having to know where this is going to take me in the long run, but more where is this going to take me now? And just taking one smaller step at a time. Thanks for listening and talk to you again soon.